LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. And let me tell you do something. Let me tell you do something right now. I just got through watching Antonio Margachito. I'm sorry. Sorry. Stop. Don't you get mad. Don't you get butthurt. Antonio Margarito versus Ramon Alvarez. Okay, this was a pretty entertaining fight. I actually like this fight. You know, it kind of, you know, you, you kind of, it, it kind of reminded me of two guys fighting in slow motion. It, it really did, man. You, you you got two guys that, you know, Margarito definitely passes prime. You can tell. <laughs> and look, at this is not the Margarito of old. Okay, it's not the same Antonio Margarito that fought Cotto that, you know, that fought Centron. It's, it's not that Margarito. It's just not that guy. Um, you know, Margarito did, you know, I thought he looked pretty good. I thought he looked good for the level of opposition that he had to face. You know, Ramon Alvarez is the older brother of Canelo Alvarez. And you can kind of see why Ramon Alvarez is not the star that his brother is, okay? They they got some of the same, you know, they got some of the same movements, though. I was kind of shocked. I'm like, man, this dude moves just like Canelo. But, of course, because they trained by the same trainer. Um, I started thinking in this fight, man, okay. So, Ramon Alvarez, I gave him the first three rounds. I mean, he was actually doing a good job of boxing uh, Antonio Margarito. He did a good job. You know, he was he was doing like a lot of head feints. He was doing like a lot of changing of levels, man. And he was catching Antonio Margarito with a lot of counter right hands. And then after the third round, he just kind of went away from that. And I'm kind of thinking, why would he do that when he can easily just outbox Margarito? Because really, he's a better boxer. I thought he was. And, uh, you know, I thought he was a better counterpuncher, but Margarito began to, you know, catch him with counterpunches, okay? And it's almost like Alvarez tried to stand in the in the gap, tried to stand in the pocket for a little while with Margarito, and Margarito started catching him. I mean, Margarito is a guy you don't really want to exchange punches with. And some of his, you know, his killer instinct is still there. Like, you know, you don't, you don't exchange punches with him. And Alvarez tried to exchange punches, and Margarito started catching him. Start catching with counter lefts and counter rights. I mean, it also like to what Margarito did. He invested into the body early. I mean, he was hitting Alvarez with some serious body shots, man. And you can hear those body shots, those thudding body shot, body shots, you know. And he was catching them on the liver, and those liver shots slowed Alvarez down. So you know, toward the end of the fight, Alvarez, Ramon Alvarez, wasn't really trying to do much of anything moving. He was almost stationary. And that's when Margarito went for the kill. There was a knockdown in the fight at, toward the end of the fight. It was a knockdown, and it was a clean knockdown. I mean, Antonio Margarito hit him clean, and Ramon Alvarez hits the canvas. And I think Margarito could have got him out of there if he just would have pressed attack. But I don't know. For whatever reason, Antonio Margarito started getting cautious and all this mess. And, I, you know, I mean, it is what it is. You know, the return of Margarito. Uh, let me ask this question. Who do you think Margarito should fight next? I, honestly, y'all, I don't think he should fight any of the top guys. I, because if he do, um, Margarito, I mean, he's probably going to get his ass knocked out. He, people, that's not me being mean. That's just the way that is. It's just the way that is, okay? It's possible. It's very possible if he fights some of the top guys, he could probably get himself knocked out, Okay? I can't see him beating any of those top guys. I, I just can't see it. But this was a good win for Antonio Margarito. It was a good win. You know, very good win. Um, you know, he still got some of his old machismo in him. He he does. And, uh, you know, but you guys tell me, what do you think Margarito needs to do next? Me, personally, I think he needs to go sit his ass down. And that's just the way that is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. What are you dudes waiting on? Subscribe.